What is up in the army? I am getting near five coming at you with a brand new video and today I it is a, well today it is another Lego set build and unboxing probably the rarest of things on this channel but today we are at it again today we are building the Razor Crest and uh, I know in um over in Europe, it's actually not called the Razor Crest. This set is not actually called the Razor Crest. It's actually called, um... Uh, it's called something completely different. <laughs> anyway, um... Unlike in the film, uh, I mean, in the show, we are building it, not destroying it. So, <laughs> this is from The Mandalorian. Which, in my view, is one of the best shows for that I've ever watched, and um, and uh, yeah. So this is uh, it has it's rated for ages ten and up. It's got one thousand twenty three pieces, which is actually a lot less than um last set we built, which was um the Nintendo Entertainment System, which was 2000. And, um, yeah, so... It's, the uh, set number is 75292. And the set has five, technically five, minifigures. I wouldn't really count the child as a minifig, because, well, he's so small, and you can't really move him. Anyway. Um, yeah, so, on the front we get this beautiful shot of the Mandalore, uh, of the Razor Crest, and we have, it, unlike most, uh, Star Wars sets, they have, uh, Darth Vader up there, like, uh, the Resistance ITS Transport, which I'm probably going to be building after this, uh, that has Vader up in this corner. This one has, the. Uh, has Din Djarin up in the corner, and, uh, I guess, let's look at the back. Now, there are a couple bricks in the back, ignore those, and, and, uh, what's on the back? So, this, on the back kind of just shows the, um, Razor Crest opening up, where things are hidden, everything involved, and pretty much all the functions of it, and then it also says, play it in Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. This is one of three sets that have a code, uh, sorry, one of four sets that have a code in the set that unlocks a certain thing in the new game. This one unlocks the Razor Crest. It is the only way to get the Razor Crest in the game. Once I heard that, of course I had to get this. Same with the Resistance ITS Transport, and, but the other set that, um, that, uh, has a code, I didn't bother, uh, getting because it's just an early unlock code, and that's, uh, the Death Star Final Duel, and, uh, you unlock, uh, Emperor Palpatine. I know you'll get, we'll get him in the game no matter what, but, um, yeah, um, this one, you get the Razor Crest, I already have another code, Life Day, for, uh, the Snow Gunk Droid, it's just a cheat code, that's why I just said it, and then there's also a code for, uh, Ugly Christmas Sweater, D uh, Darth Vader, which is funny, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, I guess, without further ado, let's get this out of the box so that we can actually build it. Um, I don't know how many bags this is. So, 1,000 pieces. I'm guessing it's a lot. Anyway, I need my scissors. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I found 
That was my scissors. They were where I opened uh, something else that is probably already up. I don't know. Uh, might not be. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, this is uh, the Razor Crest, obviously. I already did all, said all that. Let's get this open. It is now open. Okay. Done. <laughs> so Go through this. So, instruction book. Really big instruction book. <laughs> then, um, canopy. How many bags are there? Bag three. That would be a bag five. Bag two. Bag four, bag two, bag four, bag six, bag six, bag one. Two, six bags. Huh. That's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Now, I have built a set that's about this size, it's a, uh, uh, it was the uh, Kylo Ren's, uh, shell from, uh, uh, Force Awakens. I built that, that was 1,000. So, uh, uh, I don't think this will take me too long. But, I could be wrong. So, let's get to building, I guess. There's a really big sticker sheet. <laughs> Just looking at that. Anyway, let's get to building.
I'm back with the Razor Crest fully built. A lot less time than I would have thought being. Well, I had a lot less bags than I would have thought being a thousand pieces. Anyway, I love the look of this. This is probably one of the coolest sets I've ever built. And, uh, yeah. So, first things first, let's uh, look at the minifigures. I have three of them in here. <laughs> So, there we go. Yeah, there. Okay. So, uh, hold on. This is Mando or Din Djarin, whoever you want, however you want to say it. I don't care. Anyway, this is him. I love the look of him. It's not his, uh, the armor that he has pretty much the entire entirety of the show, but uh, still pretty cool. Um, can't remember the name of the droid, but here's the droid. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Don't hate me. I just can't remember the name. Uh, Scout Trooper. And... Don't know this guy's name either. Let's go grab the box. Grief Karga. And, uh, the, uh... Droid is IG-11. So this, IG-11, this is Grief Karga, who I also think looks really cool. And um, then, and when you put them in the ship, there is actually a spot for the weapons to go, which hides at the very top of the ship, which I think is really cool. A very good way of, uh, of uh, hiding it also, like, but... Now, of all five techno well, okay. Here's the child. Really small. Anyway. With all that out of the way. Here is the razor crest, which has been blown up. Anyway, um this there is the razor crest. And uh I really like the look of it. Wasn't that hard <laughs> to build at all. Um, so uh, let's just run through the features. This opens up, this opens up, and this opens up. The Razor Crest can open quite a bit. <laughs> then this obviously comes out and this pops off for weapons to go in. That just Slides right back into place. This comes off. So you can put minifigures in. Then this goes down. This goes down. This goes down. And this goes down. So pretty much the entire ship opens up. And it looks like this. Now, in logic, if this was flying, everybody would be dead. But, <laughs> um, it is really cool that the way they hide stuff. There's ammo here. There's two carbonite. Two people frozen in carbonite over here. Which are stickers on, on, uh, uh, super tall bricks. See? Carbonite. And, uh, yeah, then they even hid, um, the, uh, two, uh, spring launchers at the top. 
I really like the look of this ship. Uh, I really like this set. It is probably going to be like my number one set I've ever gone. And uh, yeah, I have an idea of where I'm going to put it. I'm not going to show it on camera. Uh, but I have a feeling it's going to actually be in my office. So uh, with that, I think it's time. Call it a day, and, uh, yeah. Just closing everything up. With that, guys, I'm Game Nerd 5 from the Nair Army team, signing off. I hope to see you all in the, in the next video. Don't know what the, that'll be, but... Goodbye!